All right, so let's now take a look at email automations. This is a very powerful tool of GetResponse where you can visually build your email sequences and you have a lot of flexibility too that when your email subscribers don't really don't open an email, you can send them um, down different email sequences or when people, for example, you can ask them, what are you interested in? And then they click on the link that they're interested in and then you know exactly what email sequence you will send them down next. So, um, to build our first automation, we go to the menu on the top left side here and then we click on automation. And as you can see, we already have one automation which is automatically created because we have built our conversion funnel. And now we want we, what, what we want to do is create a new automation. So we're going to create a new workflow right here. And then GetResponse already gives you a couple of templates that you can use to um, because then you have a pre-built automation and all you have to do now is put in emails instead of this automation. So for example, if you are promoting an email course, like sending each course a step via email every like third day or something, then you can use this template right here or you have maybe a retargeting campaign. Um, so all that kind of stuff. But to, to show you how to use this automation builder, we're just gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start now here where it says build from scratch. And then they kind of want to walk you through exactly how this works because when you do this for the first time, you don't really know how it works, but you can click all this away. I'm just gonna show you everything in this tutorial. So we're gonna give our automation a name. So let's name this um, welcome email series or welcome email automation. And then you have to give the automation a trigger. So what will trigger this specific automation? Will it be when somebody opens a specific message in your autoresponder? Will it be when somebody clicks a specific link? Will it be when somebody subscribes to a specific email list? So for this example, let's say we wanna build an automation for everybody who subscribes to our email list. So click on subscribes right here and then it will start off with our first block. By the way, if you have a lot of like windows right here trying to show you how everything works, you can turn off the interactive tutorial on the top here. If you turn it on, it will tell you what to do, but I don't really like this, so I'm just gonna have it turned off. And then we have to decide on, uh, click on this block right here and then decide on um, what list do they have to be put on in order for this automation to be triggered. So let's say, select list, you can put it, you can say any list or a specific list, let's say the Maddox tutorials list. And then which method, doesn't matter, any method. Cool. And uh, then the next step is, let's say we wanna send out an immediate message or let's say we wanna give them a tag. So let's say, so go, let me drag myself to the left side. And then what you can do here is drag in a tag so that everybody that is put on this list and starts with this automation will get a specific tag. So let's say our tag is, let's create a tag right here, create a tag, um, new subscriber, click on add. Actually, we have to give this under underline here, click on add. And then these contacts will be assigned this specific tag. So you know exactly, um, who of your subscribers are new subscribers and are in this specific automation. So maybe you don't want to send new email newsletters to people who are in this automation. Um, all right, so let's afterwards send a first email message. So scroll down here and then drag in a message block. So just drag this in here, always combine the blocks together. And then what you can do is select a message. So as you can see, we don't have a lot of messages yet. So what we have to do is create a new message. So what I do is, so just click on create message and let's just create one real quick. So um, you see how this works, design message. So I've now created a, a new email that will be sent out immediately when somebody subscribes to this list. And I have just uh, selected it here and um, then afterwards, let's say we wanna have them wait for like three days after they receive this first email. So again, go to add elements and then go to uh, wait right here and then drag in the wait block below this email. Make sure you combine the bo both of them, click on the element and then you can decide exactly how long they should wait. So let's say they have to wait, uh, they have to wait three days. So just type in three here. 
So what we can do now is we can check if people actually open this email and depending on if they open it, um, we want to send them down different paths. So let's say, uh, let's go to add elements and then go to the right side and um, choose this one right here, message opened. Gonna drag this into canvas, combine the two, click on the element and then uh, which message opens do you want to track? So we have to um, track a specific message. So we want to track this specific message, which is the first message that, that we have sent out. So we have to choose this message, which is this one right here. And then uh, when your assume condition wasn't met. So if after three days they haven't opened the email, then it will be automatically sent, uh, set as hasn't opened. Cool. And now let's say to everybody who didn't open the email, we want to send another message. So another email and we will be sending them the same email, but with a different title or we, we will send them a kind of a reminder email um, asking them if they want to download the lead magnet that we have offered them or whatever you want to. And whoever, and whoever did open the email, we're going to send a separate email, um, maybe going through our next email automation sequence, um, teaching them more stuff or um, maybe promoting something to them and so on. So you really have tons of possibilities with this automation builder. You can just basically segment your list um, just by people going through this automation and you don't have to do everything manually, but just adding different blocks. So you can remove contacts if they are not active anymore. You can, um, based on specific events, um, remove them from a specific list, maybe put them on other lists. Um, you can also give them scores right here so you can score them based on how active they are. So really a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, Many times in my experience, um, you would, you have something in your mind, like an automation that you want to build, but you don't don't really know how to build it. So I'd really recommend you actually hit this. Uh, you hit this support here on the left side. Click on chat, and then tell them exactly what you want to build, and then they will um, go ahead and help you out. As you can see, they are very quick. Um, somebody's in here right now trying to help me out. So make sure you actually make use of their support. It is really good. And um, I usually, when I am building automations and I am not finished yet, then what I do is I just add in a wait block and just um, combine my wait block with the latest messages that I have created. And I just set the wait block to uh, 999 days because then I, it gives me more time. People will stay in the automation and it gives me more time to actually build out the automation. You can build this out to eternity. Basically, you can build it out for a year so that when you get a new lead, there will be a year's worth of emails ready to be sent out. And this way you can really build out an automated selling machine with this automation builder. And uh, it's actually really powerful. And when you finish creating your automation sequence, you have to go to the top here and click on save and publish. And make sure you actually click on save and publish because otherwise it won't be active and it won't actually send out uh, emails. So now, perfect, we have created our first automation workflow. And now when you go to automations, you see that we have created this specific welcome email automation workflow that you can always turn on and off depending on if you want it to be active. Yeah.